What is up guys, this is Tito back with another video on the Redmi K20 Pro and today in this video I'm gonna be showing you the latest Corvus OS on this device and if you look at the Android version section here as you are noticing this is of course based on Android 11 and let me go back the Corvus version shows as muted and that is of course the version 14.5 and here we have the maintainer's name as Ritz of course and we have the phone specification and stuff the security patch is of february 5th 2021 yes not quite march build of course the build date over here is actually the 22nd february 2021 so that is the latest build as of right now of corvus OS on top of android 11 and yes the android 10 version of corvus 2 has received an update so if you guys want to try that out you can but here i am more interested in talking about the changes over here on this latest version the stop kernel here if you are looking at is still perf g kernel and the slinux status is enforcing and if you look at the change logs in their telegram channel and here you will see there are a couple of things like bumped version to 14.5 of course and then if you look at the other things there is the add much needed gaming mode from android 10 so if you look at the quick settings panel we have this gaming mode which i have added over here so let me just tap and hold on to it and as you can see like this you can go into the settings of the gaming mode and here we have the heads up notification options and you can change these if you want to over here so if you want to allow calls or heads up notification or alarms you can like change all of these things from here and then we have the disable automatic brightness then ringer mode you can do something and then we have the gaming mode indication over here and then we have this dynamic mode so that is great and again we have these lock buttons over here so you can turn on like these kind of features and you can add particular apps to the gaming mode while you are gaming or something so yeah that is great like whenever you are launching that app it will turn on the gaming mode automatically so that is a really cool feature so gaming mode is right now here in this corvus 14.5 and then we have the added long screenshot over here so that is the like the three finger screenshot gesture but there is the scrolling option if you just noticed as you can see scroll delete and edit and if you tap scroll and right now as you can see you can click on long screenshot but sometimes it doesn't work of course as you can see it says still in work in progress though so yeah it is like not that stable like the scrolling does not work always and here we have some more things like added a whole new volume panel in the ui over here it says and then we have the added a whole new volume panel from aospa following your favorite accent colors so this is how it looks like and this is how the volume panel of course looks and the expansion is really cool as you are noticing so yeah definitely a cool looking volume panel over here you can put the phone into vibrate or silent from here then we have some more things like the added new tile for themes over here in the quick settings so in the quick settings let me show you there is this theme option and if you tap onto it and as you are noticing there are plethora of like options that you can choose from these is the like background kind of color you can change between these many options from the quick setting toggles directly so that is great one more new thing is that you can like press and hold on the settings panel over here and it will directly go into the ravens layer it redirects you to the customization sections so yeah pretty much all the customizations are still there and the whole ui looks pretty cool with the customizations and again this is corvus OS pretty much has like amazing amount of customizations in my opinion but i do miss some things in the moment that i can talk about is the like cyberpunk 2077 animation and stuff with the finger mid scanner as you're noticing this is simply not the cyberpunk 2077 animation let me show you again as you're noticing i have been using it with the fusion one let me show you as you're noticing it looks really cool in the lock screen over here as you can see but yeah the cyberpunk 2077 animations and other stuff simply does not work over here that great so yeah that's how it is and there is also a heads up blacklist notification option then we have extended battery bolt icon for solid battery and stuff and then it says we have a call recorder by default in the vanilla builds as of right now but i have flashed the gfs included version over here and this rom is based on miui vendor in the gfs included variant this call recorder is simply not present so if you're someone who really really needs the call recording in Corvus OS just go for the vanilla build flash the Nick G apps or something but other than that I would say in this ROM yes vaulty calls and stuff is working but in the G apps build it doesn't have that like call recording option and there are some more things like fixed running services from quick settings panel and then we have these calculate power from voltage and current then we have revert secondary home handle and these kind of changes if you look at the specific device specific change log i mean as you can see it says fixed fod flickers 
and then we have more FOD improvements. That's it in the 14.5. So the fingerprint scanner, I would say is very, very reliable right now. And as I just showed you while showing the fingerprint scanner, and as you can see, the fingerprint scanner speed, in my opinion, has been really, really good. No issues so far. And it has this very convenient double tap to sleep. So whenever I'm like willing to lock the device, I can just double tap anywhere in the home screen in the blank area and that locks the device. And the default wallpaper looks like this. Crow over here, of course, and we have the Corvus logo up top. So it looks very cool over here. The home screen is like, I mean, the launcher is very, very smooth, not the home screen. So yeah, and the stock camera here, I do not like at all. That is this old kind of Google camera as you were noticing. So yeah, this is not good. I mean, this is a very basic old kind of Google camera and I personally do not like this camera. That's the reason why I have flashed the ANX camera, which is the recovery flashable zip. So that is working fine. Even the wide angle and the telephoto lenses are working totally fine, no issues. And if I switch to the front camera, as you can see, the front camera is working flawlessly, no issues so far. And even with the portrait mode, the front camera is working. Also, the rear camera should be working fine with the portrait mode. So no issues so far with the front camera and stuff in this ROM and in the video settings, of course, this is the recovery flashed version. So that's the reason why we have up to 20p 60fps option. But if you flash the ANX camera with magic that you can see from the card right there, if you don't know how to flash it. So yeah, then you will get the 4k 60fps options and stuff. Pro mode and stuff is there, but this camera, the ANX camera, I have flashed separately. This is not inbuilt in the ROM. And the Google camera and stuff like the Unix version of the Google camera is working fine too. And the telephoto lens or the wide angle lens should be working fine here. Even with the Google camera, no issues. Night sight and stuff should be working great. So yeah, all the cameras are working flawlessly. And I have flashed this ROM with the latest 12.0.4 firmware. And if you don't know how to flash this particular ROM, you can click on the card right there. If you're coming from MIUI, you can clean flash with that method. The stock launcher here this is the raven launcher as you were noticing great custom launcher in my opinion because there is the icon pack changing option then the search bar google app etc you can disable the suggestions you can disable then we have the notification gesture and then as well we have the double tap to sleep gesture anywhere on the home screen again and we have the swipe down to clear all and stuff so really amazing experience with the stock launcher over here to the left we get this google's discover page swiping down of course gets you to the notification or quick settings panel so ipm gets you to the app drawer and you can search for any particular app from here so that's just great and we have all these things over here let me actually show you also this hidden and protected apps over here so you can lock particular apps let me show you as you can see you can lock or hide any particular app for this launcher so that is just great like if you lock particular apps let me show you like the telegram app as you can see i have locked it so right now i have to tap the fingerprint scanner if you i want to open it so right now as you are noticing it has unlocked so the app lock and stuff is working super fine with the stock launcher now talking about the customizations again it has this brightness sliding feature so no issues whatsoever with the customizations in my opinion the customization amount is amazing in the corvus OS as usual and everything else like the double tap to sleep on the status bar and stuff is working and also you can customize everything like the status bar clock and stuff or the vault D icon etc you can customize everything but still there is no system updater over here as of right now but in the gesture settings we have the gesture bar length customization then dead zone etc you can customize all the things are there so this is just a follow-up video from my previous corvus os video swipe to screenshot and stuff again i showed you already quickly open camera is there then we have the front camera sound effects and here as you can see we have the star wars sound effects too if you need that so yeah a lot of options but again the fingerprint scanner animations are still like i would say it it shows a lot of animations but it doesn't show the actual animations over here like the cyberpunk 2077 animation is just a different one so that's what i was talking about and in terms of the customizations of the colors we have this accent color picker and stuff you can pick any kind of color you just tap here and it will apply to that kind of accent color and we have the font type so plethora of fonts that you get still so again a lot of customizations and it is like almost huge amount of customization that if you want to go dig into it it will take an hour or something to set up everything and by the way we have all the things like the advanced reboot and stuff and as you can see you can directly reboot to recovery or fast boot straight from the power menu if you tap restart if you have enabled the advanced reboot and this is how the descent panel looks like it has the screenshot taking option the clear all option and kill a particular app option and you can share the screen with someone with a screenshot if you want to and in terms of the battery life well i would say this rom gives really really great battery life 
and i have been getting really good battery life like six to seven hours of screen on time easily on this rom and if you want to know about the fast charging yes 18 watt fast charging is also working flawlessly no issues and in the Corvus OS I like this thing that we can see the battery's health this is not available in most ROMs nowadays and here as you can see you can see the design battery capacity then the current battery capacity then the charging cycle and stuff then the battery temperature etc you can see so a lot of things that you can see over here and dig into in the display settings this is how it looks and these animations on top as you are noticing looks really really cool and we have the dark theme and stuff then the live display and it closes for some reason as you can see the settings just force closes whenever i go into the live display for some reason i don't know why and we have the screen timeout and stuff then we have display size the dpi and inside lock screen we have the always show time and info option that is the always on display double tap to wake enable blurs etc is there anti flicker mode or the dc dimming mode is actually there so that is great and if you scroll down we have the sound settings and again the animation over here looks cool and if you scroll down we have the me audio direct so you can choose from these many headset options over here so yeah a lot of options in terms of the me audio direct and these are the presets that you get and i would say the sound quality via the headphone jack and bluetooth as well is just amazing over here no issues so far the hi-fi audio option is still there and we have the touch vibration screenshot sound etc disabling option and inside security we still have the face unlock too so let me actually set up the face unlock so just completed the setup of the face unlock right now let me actually show you the face unlock speed let's double tap over here and as you can see the face unlock works flawlessly whenever i double tap it detects my face and unlocks the device right away so very fast and reliable face unlock here and even after setting up face unlock the fingerprint scanner is working fine no issues so far now talking about safety net it passes the safety net right out of the box so that means you can use banking apps like google pay right out of the box here no issues so far with that and talking about the drm info as you can see you it shows l3 for me that is because like i have broken my drm certification but if you have not broken it it should be fine for you other than that flowing through the ui is very very cool and like everything is super fast over here i have never faced any kind of random reboots or something and if you want to know the performance difference here are the android and geekbench score of this corvus os so i have been daily driving with this rom and i thought this is a really great one to make a video about and still corvus os is one of the best options like i would prefer like if you ask me personally what roms do i prefer for daily driving i can pretty much definitely say that i can definitely daily drive with the roms like evolution x and the corvus os and other roms like i am gonna try the xenix os maybe that is gonna be stable too but here the experience has been really really great and still corvus is one of the best custom roms i can say for the redmi k20 pro thank you so much for watching this video guys give it a thumbs up if you liked it subscribe to the channel down there if you have not yet this is tito from kdn tech signing off for today and i'll be catching you guys in the next one bye now